Hey guys, welcome to Telepathic Tarot, where I'm just going to do a little quick sneak peek reading on like spiritual downloads, messages the universe wants to give to the collective at this time. If you want to catch me on the extended version, come to my VIP section. Okay, so in the meantime, oh, well, okay, <laughs> I want to say this is a bonus card. It says birds are synchronistic messages from spirit. Try googling their spiritual meaning for further guidance. So that is our bonus message because I wasn't even ready to pull a card and it flew right out. I feel like this is extra confirmation as well that this is a spiritual synchronistic message for you. And oh, okay. <laughs> there we go okay okay uh-huh 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 so you have the <laughs> excuse me oh my god i'm burning an incense and boy <laughs> it hit my lungs <laughs> let me just get some water real quickly oh wow sorry I just felt like, boy, I felt like that was an attack. <laughs> but anyway, we're still going to get this message out. So it's definitely given a vibe that people are annoyed that you're picking up on the intuitive messages of and downloads telling you that certain folk are, you know, they're not of the light. They don't have the best intentions for you. They are around you projecting their insecurities onto you and kind of slowing a sense of, you know, just causing stagnation, causing creative blockages for you. Like people are annoyed that you're picking up that their energy for you, like it's, it's a no-go, okay? Not that they necessarily mean to be impure, but they're of... I don't know, I guess maybe because your light triggers their demons and you have an energy where you banish negativity away from you. You refuse to have it anywhere near your energy field. You refuse to have it harm your peace. Like, you don't have time for it. And yeah, spirit is definitely saying keep your head up. Keep... I'm hearing like strengthening your intuition because... They're definitely sending you the intuitive downloads. They just need you to keep picking it up. And they're already giving you like a pat on the pat. <laughs> they're already giving you like a pat on the back because they definitely see that you're, you're taking the intuitive guides. You're listening to what they're telling you. And no one is going to be able to cause any, like literally the nine of cups. Yo, you are doing your healing. You are preserving your health. You are curing yourself of any negativity, any illnesses, any diseases. It's like people want to come and taint your energy. They want to come uh, because they just, they see you too happy attaining your goals, your wish fulfillments. They see that you're someone who is emotionally fulfilled because you know how to heal yourself even when you come into contact with negative energies. So it's like, yeah, keep up the good work. The universe is very proud of you. And because you're very focused on protecting your energy, your space and staying determined on chasing after your wish fulfillments, like they're going to help you make your dreams and desires like a reality. <laughs> and look at that. Another card just flying out which is giving the same energy right here like keep living in your truth keep living in your authenticity people are very much respecting you at this time because you're someone that stands on business okay you do not waver you do not compromise on your morals what you live for what you go for okay you're not someone who's going to do like that five of swords seven of swords energy where you're going to be an energy vampire when you're going to like still take deceive manipulate other people to get an upper hand like you don't have time for those tactics and those mind games and manipulation and spirit is saying because you live your life of live your life of a high vibration this is why you are getting rewarded of new beginnings that are very abundant and they're bringing like happy prosperous change so it's like 
I don't know, I'm getting a vibe of you've been in an era where you've been kind of surrounded by folks that don't want to see you win. They're triggered by your come up, they're triggered by your success and the intuitive synchronistic message you're feeling or the pull you're feeling is to kind of distance yourself from these people because i don't know maybe you're speaking on your ideas with them and then all of a sudden stuff is crumbling it's not really working out or it's not as easy to attain because hey people are sending you the evil eye so you're definitely distancing yourself moving away from people who low-key i don't want to say they want to see you flop but like <laughs> I don't know, it's given a vibe of like, people want you to need them, okay? And mm, they feel some type of way that you're elevating and you're moving on and you're not looking back, okay? You're looking forward to the future and your future is success, okay? Success. People are kind of annoyed as well that you are trusting more in yourself and like the intuitive messages that spirit is giving you. Like, how do you have all this... I don't want to say blind faith, but essentially, yeah, how do you have all this blind faith and trust that your, your answers, your prayers are literally being answered at this time? So let me see what the bottom energy is. <laughs> so you could be a stoner baddie. People want you to smoke them out, okay? You're really fucking the flag. So you could be someone where people love to do favors for you, okay? Because essentially having you on their good side or being able to, especially if it's like a business agreement arrangement, but being able to call favors in the future, it's like, I don't know, it's a good partnership, okay? <laughs> but if you like to smoke, get a little high, okay? <laughs> people be liking that vibe too you're very chilled you're very relaxed okay so what's coming through is you are highly attractive at this time you are highly desired at this time i'm definitely getting a vibe of like you're protecting your sensual and your sexual energy as well so any incubuses succubuses that want to come towards you and cause chaos confusion it's not working, baby. You are storing your sensuality and your sexuality all for yourself. You are loving on yourself. I don't know if you're eating healthy, you're working out, you're getting fit, but there is just something about people literally foaming at the mouth, desiring you, wanting you. You're extremely confident. You're in your power, okay? You've got these barriers and blockages up there letting people know that they best not f with you because your bark like the bite is worse too okay <laughs> like, for real people know your energy is not to be played with and they're finding you highly attractive because i'm just getting this vibe of curving people left right front center people are coming towards you with all these offers proposals ideas and you're just kind of like nah i'm not feeling it this is of what the universe has destinedly guided me to do and folks like it's just giving me a vibe of folks want to get into your energy right now because you're shining okay you're in the limelight and you're looking good and you're elevating and you're glowing but intuitively for you it's not lining up it's not matching up it's not what you want to do yeah people see how you have become so strong brave you are not afraid of being judged you are not afraid to be your authentic individual self and because you are i don't know if you are in eras arenas times where people were trying to get you to play small but it's definitely giving a vibe of you are no longer playing small okay you are showing out and you are showing off who you are to the core and people are loving it people are loving your bravery and your strength in the essence of like you could talk about the struggles that you've overcome or the fact that they just see that you go hard for yourself you stay you stand 10 toes down for yourself the fact that yeah you're not going to allow anyone to take your power. You're not going to allow anyone to project any philosophies, ideals of who they think you should be, how you should live your life. Like you're not going to accept people's opinions of who you should be. You are living up to your own expectations of what fulfills your soul, of who you want to be. And anything outside of that, like you're not interested in it. You're not paying any attention to it. But um, overall, yeah universe is giving you a pat on the back because what's definitely coming through is 
the reason you had to walk away from certain people is because they didn't want you to find this new beginning <laughs> this new beginning where you were stronger where you were more bold where you weren't afraid to really show yourself who you truly are or just really step into the limelight and shine okay people didn't want you to find who you are as a person and be comfortable in your own skin because i don't know it's like your light triggers their demons okay they have to sit down and ask themselves why am i not comfortable in my skin why i why am i feeling these negative ways about myself but i can see that this person is happy with who they are they are thriving they are chasing their goals their dreams they're emotionally fulfilled they're financially fulfilled you know what i mean but um yeah you got people feeling some type of way because what the new emotion is now is that they no longer have access to you, your wisdom, your motivation, your creativity, your passion and your strength. And I don't know if you're someone that like helps motivate and uplift people, but they no longer have access to that. And they feel some type of way that there's distance. And now you're kind of taking all that good stuff that you're giving to them, you're giving it to yourself and they can no longer benefit off it. So that's what they feel some type of way that they wish that they kind of gave you a different energy because the way that you're thriving and you're evolving without them, it has them feeling some type of way. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what it's definitely giving, okay? They're realizing that in some ways they were taking your energy and making it their own and they were convincing you that you were the one that was not captivating that you were the one that's trying to copy their style that's trying to copy their personality that's trying to be like them it's it's a, it's a weird dynamic it's a weird dynamic but um now that they see that you've really stepped into your truth and you've elevated and they're coming to the realization that you were the iconic og that in some ways they were trying to emulate yeah they're realizing that yo i don't want to say they were putting up a front but yeah the smoke and mirrors they're, they're facing the smoke and mirrors because what's going on with the people that you've distanced and maybe there's talk okay i don't know if people if you and these people have like mutual community mutual friends but it's just giving a vibe or even like new people you meet thinking about the past folks you used to be connected to is just giving a vibe of these people knowing that other people looking on the outside on the situation are seeing that they're not captivating are seeing that you know they were trying to put up a mirror a, an ideology a figure of who you know they wanted to be and they weren't really living up to that but um, Spirit is happy with you for not essentially allowing these people to make you feel like you are the ish. So if you want to catch me in part two, come behind the scenes and we're going to you know we're gonna dab in a bit deeper to what's going on because this is just very surface level and i feel like there is a lot to see on like why <laughs> why did this person work so hard to i don't want to say work so hard but why did someone want you to not become the true divine beauty that you are so if you enjoyed this reading don't forget to like share comment subscribe join me and my familiar and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye